Welcome everybody back to Terraria 1.2 Ranger playthrough. Uh, we got a bunch of shit in our inventory. Uh, yeah, don't worry. You know, don't worry about it. We'll just we'll just quick store it instead of selling it all. Oh yeah, give me that. Give me that. Give me that little that little lag. Um, throw that in there. Where do we keep everything else? Haha. <laughs> Bam. Okay, apparently we don't keep half the items I have in my inventory. Oh, we're gonna go catch a fish real fast. Just because I want to get closer to getting that golden rod, dude. And I've been ignoring a lot of quests because a lot of them I can't do. Because they would be like, go up in the sky and go catch uh, fucking harpies and stuff. Even though I only have one sky island that i found so far. And doesn't have a giant ocean. And then uh, recently I just made a crimson thing to fish in and a uh, hollowed one to fish in. So yeah, we should be, it should be easier for us to get stuff, but we're gonna go to the crimson little pond I made over here. Uh, and we are gonna, we're gonna succeed like that. And we're also gonna kill a bunch of slimes, might as well. I don't have the ammo box. That's not good. Uh, where, where's it at? You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna have to deal with this little, like, skip every now and then. I don't know what the fuck is happening. But, uh, it should go away after a while. So yeah, I made this over here, I connected all of them together. Oh, this guy's gonna get wrecked. This guy's gonna get wrecked. He didn't even drop any gel. Is it over here? Oh, Willie, the traveling merchant. Please have a gun. Please have a gun or the fucking pulse bow, man. You would be my savior. So you can fish underground or you can fish above. The man of war is found above ground? I guess you can find them in both. I'm not exactly sure. But I caught... caught oh, sorry. I caught one here recently. A man of war. Exactly a man of war in the same exact spot I'm sitting in right now. Actually, I don't know if it was here. If it was, I think it was more like right here. But let's hurry up and get this so we can talk to the merchant. Come on. Give it to me. Right here. That's a, that's a man of war. Nope, that's a bass. This one right here is a man of war. I feel it. I feel it. Oh my god, I feel it pulsating. Man of war. Yeah. I knew it. Alright, where is the angler? The angler. Oh, angler. Here is your fish. Thanks for the ship's wheel. It's not like I have 500 of those. Hey, you want a ship's wheel? Oh, he's got the gat. He's got the gatligator. He's got the gatligator. Oh, I'm buying that. Buying it right away. You know how rare that weapon is? It's pretty rare. What? Pretty rare from the traveling merchant. Man, I'm getting everything good from the traveling merchant on this world. <laughs> gatligator. It's not even like that strong. <laughs> In all honesty, but uh, it's still a good gun. And uh, what was our goal? Is to get good guns. Okay, maybe that's not our goal, but is to be one of the strongest in the world. Okay, maybe that's not our goal either. It's to be strong. Okay, let's just put it at that. Nice and simple. It's to be strong. We're gonna get rid of the tendon bow and the flare gun. Actually, no, we'll keep the flare gun. It's kind of antique, if you ask me. The bow we can get the thing get rid of shit. I don't want this stupid bow in my inventory. I mean, in there. Uh, what else can we get rid of? Not anything else that I want to get rid of. Uh, this umbrella, actually. What the hell? Stupid umbrella. Uh, and then let's sell, like, eight of these bars. Might as well. No reason to really keep hollowed bars just chilling around. Can I place them on the floor? They don't even look that good. They look like just a shiny iron bar, if you ask me. Alright, so we're gonna put this away in here, and let's take a look at the Gatling Gator. 29 range damage. Okay, he fell. 29 range damage, 19% critical strike chance. 19%, 19%. Uh, extremely weak knockback, 50% chance not to consume ammo. That's really good, same as uh, Mega Shark. And uh, highly inaccurate. No, it'd been nice if we would've got this like earlier. In all honesty, can I be honest with you guys? It'd be nice if we got this in like early game hard mode and I wouldn't have to search for that Uzi. Uh, we'll sell this. And, uh, just, just sell it all. Just sell it all. Just sell it. Alright, let's go. Back on the road. The road to... Wait, hold up. Can we... Do we need anything special for crafting chlorophyte? I don't really think we do. Oh, you know what we do need. God damn it. Alright, we're gonna do it now. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do the thing that I didn't want to do because it costs a lot of mushrooms. But it's so cool. But, uh, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna make... Workbench. Oh shit, there's my ammo too. Can I pick this up? Alright, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna, we're gonna craft it. We're, we're gonna make him a home. Okay? We're gonna make him a fucking home, dude. 
you can you get out of here? Oh man, it is highly accurate. <laughs> it's awesome. This looks very cool though. It's rare, alright? Antiques. Gotta have the antiques. Alright, holy shit. Alright, he'll die. He'll die, won't he? Alright, uh Start off with some mushroom. Not too much. We don't want to make more walls than we have to. Alright, and now we'll go over here. Do some slicing, get these mushrooms off the floor. I would cut down some trees, but the trees are but antique, man. Alright, let's we'll make it right here. It won't be the flattest house in the world. Wow, this house is not flat. <laughs> That's good. We got hammers though. This is, I want to be a better house designer in Terraria, okay? My houses are so, like, in Minecraft, I've been working on my house game. Ah, 69 mushrooms. I've been working on my house game in Minecraft. And uh, my houses became a lot more intricate. A lot more, like, not just a square anymore. Some of them are still squares. But a lot better than they were in the past. And uh, I would like to do the same thing with Terraria. Just because, uh, you know, Terraria is a game that you can build extremely cool things with. And uh, it'd be nice if I can incorporate that into both Minecraft and Terraria. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Just trying to have those nice looking buildings. Okay, uh, let's get the workbench down. And uh, let's craft doors. Dude, this is using a fuck ton of mushrooms. Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my flamethrower collection. We might use the flamethrower on uh, Planterra. Just because it kind of makes sense. I'm going Pokemon here on them. Oh, uh, we can actually make a mushroom table. Man, I remember when they didn't have mushroom tables. What a terrible time in Terraria. This is not even even, by the way. The house is not even. and Maybe it'll bother you, but it's, it doesn't bother me. Oh. Uh, this is what we need to do, now that I think about it, though. Let's do this. So we can move the table over one, I think. Where's the table at? I'm blind. I'm blind. Guys, help. I'm blind. Guys, I've gone blind. Alright. Yeah, and that'll allow us to place a... That'll allow us to place something down. Place the, uh, chair down. So, uh, My bad. Let's get the lamp... And let's get the chair. Sucks that... No, you can't build these in pre-hard mode. What am I talking about? Uh, you know, it does suck that you can't build in pre-hard mode. It's like slime houses and stuff like that. Because you have to get the solidifier at, like, really late in the game. Uh, that's enough light. He's a mushroom, man. He doesn't need that much, but that much light. Bam. It's kind of, kind of a lot different from than what I would just build regularly. At least it looks like to me. And uh, I like it because of that. And, uh, this housing is suitable. That's, that's all I want to hear. And that's all I want to hear. And now let's head off into the jungle and go mine a fuck ton of chlorophyte. And, uh, we should be able to be fighting, fight Plantera soon. Sooner or later. No, 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 no. Garvel, he's always in front of my shit. Alright, let's talk to Willy real fast then. Hey, Willy. You want a pwn hammer? And take that. I don't really care about that. Um, what do I need though? Like, do you have anything else that's pretty cool? The winter cape is cool, but I don't really need that. I don't need to waste gold anymore. Oh, we have a piece of gold in our inventory. Might as well stack it in here. See if we can just store up some gold again. Oh, he's departed. Thanks, Willie, for the alligator though. He's gonna probably prove useful at some point in time. Don't know when, but uh, don't worry, it'll have its time. Probably not good just to... Brrr, brrr. Yeah. Man, this gun is fun. It's fun, not effective, but it's fun. That's all that matters. Non-effective, but fun. Alright, Chlorophyte. Where is you at? Alright, the world's got to load. Sorry for the skips. Oh no, I thought Terari like preloads worlds, but... Every now and then this happens where there's like skips if I don't load into the world first and then... Start recording. 
this I usually just jump in the world and then record. Sometimes I already in the world and then I just start recording like that. Uh, but ooh, yeah, you like that Arapaima? You like that Moss Hornet? Bang bang bang! All right, maybe we can get another Uzi, dude. Uzis are so common, am I right? Uh, I'll go down here. Oh, it's a moth. There's a moth. Moth man right here. Uh, it hurts me. It hurt me a lot. Uh, come on. Where's some, where's some chlorophyte at? Oh, I should have brought some spelunker potions. That would have been smart. We also gotta find the temple somewhere. Is that chlorophyte? Nah. Nah, son. Alright, uh, not seeing any chlorophyte that just like pops out at me. Oh, there it is right there. We'll mine these little uh, veins. I know they grow into bigger veins, but I don't really care. It's a jungle, we'll find a bunch of it. Yeah, get out of here. She got killed with a fucking drill. You feel useless now. I hurt myself a lot with this exploding ammo. It's not that funny. Damn, I meant to say BAM! Okay, uh, is there any, any, like, big, big veins? This one is, oh, this is okay size, I'll take it. I'll take it. Break that block I'm standing on. Alright, so, if we get truffle, we might not have to make the, uh, chlorified armor set. Which I would be... Completely okay with skipping out on, but uh, if we don't get truffle by then, then I'm okay with just making the chlorophyte set. It's not that hard to make. I feel like the shumite armor is a lot harder to make than the chlorophyte set, but making the chlorophyte set and then wanting to make the shumite armor after that just feels like a giant like step back. Cause you're like, well, I just got all this chlorophyte and I made an armor set out of it. But now I need more chlorophyte to make shroomite. It's just, it's not fun to do that. Oh no, we might check out the recipe for uh, shroomite. I forgot what it was. It might be chlorophyte bars? I don't know. I probably shouldn't turn anything into bars yet. Pretty sure it's chlorophyte bars. Because you just straight up make shroomite bars and not like shroomite or nothing you have to smelt. Uh, man, Splunker Potion would have been smart. Let's head over here. Let's grapple onto the ceiling. Grapple onto the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, I gotta sneeze, guys. I'm sorry. I gotta sneeze. Never mind, never mind. Wait. It's like it's like on the verge. It's like, should I sneeze or should I? Nope, it left. <laughs> that sucks. Uh. Let's see if. Come on, man. Where's the chlorophyte at? Where's the chlorophyte when I need it? <coughs> oh. oh. There's the coffee, I didn't need that. Um, I don't really like, is that chlorophyte? That might be chlorophyte, I'm gonna go to it. I've seen a whole lot in like big chunks, big veins. Oh, here we go, there's one right here. Yeah, that's what they called me in prison, big veins. It's not because I had like big muscles or anything, it's because I had a big ass fucking vein on my dick. All right, so, uh, yeah, that is chlorophyte. That's good, that's good. And, uh, man, I still, I'm, I'm hyped. I'm hyped for Terraria 1.3 more than you guys know. Not only is the 1.3 series going to be multiplayer, maybe it'll be multiplayer, we have to see. More than likely, it's going to be multiplayer with, like, me, Ryan, and Dakota. And, uh, it's just, it's just hype, man. We're going to be a summoner in that, I think. I'm pretty sure. Summoner or melee character, I don't know. And it's gonna be hype. We might save melee character for single player and then uh, summoner for multiplayer. And this thing needs to shoot faster. I need a better forge, blue forge on it. Uh, hey, you wanna drop that bow? You wanna drop that bow? No. No, no, no. I'm not dropping the bow. Uh, well, we just like s speed run across this fucking jungle. We're supposed to be taking our time. We're supposed to be slowly finding all the chlorophyte. Don't we have a steampunker somewhere? I'm pretty sure I have a steampunker in my house, I just don't know it. Uh, she might have been useful if we had her early on, but we had to kill a, 
a mech boss just to get it. But uh, she might have something interesting to sell. I mean, she's got the cool buildings, the cool uh, building blocks you can make with uh, the steampunk, with the gears. But I'm pretty sure you need like a something steampunk workbench of some sort, just to make it. But I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what we're doing with building in the future. The only thing I have planned right now when it comes to building in the house, other than just having more rooms for the NPCs, is the uh, is my room in our house. The one with the gold in it. And uh, that one's gonna have that golden bed in it soon. Sooner. Sooner or later it will. As soon as I find a pirate map. And uh, it's. I've been. I, I don't really go to the ocean that much. I went there like two times just to try and farm it. And uh, I need to bring like a water can. Fuck off! Why am I using. Switch to weapon! Uh, let's get the rest of this chlorophyte. And we might bail out just to see uh, something here. Just to see. Uh, what do we need to craft? Is it is it this, this? No. So it is bars. Good. Good, good, good. Ooh, something we need right here. The bullets. These are OP. Really good bullets. Uh, they don't... They do an okay amount of damage. Yeah, they do a pretty good amount of damage. Um... The repeater is pretty good too. Shot bow, not repeater. Venom staff. Arrows are pretty good. What am I looking for? <laughs> Shoot my bars. There it is. Uh, so we only need one chlorified bar per an ingot. Hmm. Fifteen mushrooms per an ingot. That's a lot. That is a lot of mushroom. Whole lot of mushroom. Uh, let's just sell all of this. Nature's gift, we don't need that. We can have that, dude. I know why I'm getting no money off of it. Might as well take it anyways, man. I'm giving it I'm giving it for free. Okay. So let us smelt this. Oh man, that was a great chunk of bars. Let's drop back down here and let's talk to him about bullets. What type of bullets do we want? Ooh, the nano bullets. Causes confusion. That's not that good. Exploding bullets seem like probably one of the best bullets. Golden bullets is okay. Flick target with venom. That is pretty good, but I'm pretty sure we need a vile venom, which we don't get until we beat Plantera. Party bullets, explosions again. Uh, that's pointless. High velocity bullets. Hey, those might be pretty good. Might have to check that out. But right now, I'm just eyeballing the chlorified bullets. Chlorified bullets are going to be helpful. Really helpful. Uh, please move in. Oh, is it nighttime, so you can't even move in? Let's see if we can spread some joy over here. That, oh, no, instead of spreading some joy, let's do this. Let's make the biome even bigger. Gotta expand the biome. So let's go over here. Get some mud. Let's see if we can expand this biome before we end off the episode. Uh, we'll be there soon, man. I'm hoping that we actually can, like, go to the moon, is what I'm hoping for the lunar update. <laughs> but, uh, from what I know so far, it's just gonna be, like, the, a boss fight. A pretty big boss fight. I really want to go to the moon, though. <laughs> Even though I'm pretty sure we can't do that. Now. I guess what I want is, like, how, how we go to hell is how I want us to go to the moon. If we fly high enough, we end up at the moon. Hey, werewolf, how you doing? Got fucked up so hard. Okay, let's expand towards the right. Just because the right is towards our base, and we don't want to really want to have mushrooms in our base. I'm not trying to discriminate or anything. I mean, I am a mushroom in real life, you guys know. It's really hard to play with like fucking hooves. Uh, let's do this. Oh god, please get out of here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to work. Okay. Kind sirs, if you can leave, please. Switch to this. It's daytime. Okay. These guys won't leave me alone. So fucking rude. I, li I like these mushroom guys. I like that they even like added guys like that in the game. They didn't have to, but they did. Good job, Terraria. Alright, so I'm going to end off this episode here. 
We did, uh, we did a pretty good chunk of stuff to do in this episode, and, uh... Is this not considered a mushroom biome? It's not. I don't think it's actually considered a mushroom biome, because I'm not letting the mushrooms grow. But I'll see you guys in the next episode of Terraria 1.2. Bring your plate through. Bye-bye.